we're getting close to Halloween time and usually around most of the holidays, we try to do some sort of videos themed to any specific holidays. So what better way to celebrate Halloween than the top 10 scariest rides. Now this list is not just roller coasters, it's gonna be rides in general, and then always not specific rides. It could be like a type type of ride or yeah. something like that. You'll, you'll see as the video goes on. Mm -hmm. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into this video. At number 10, we are going with the Huss Top Spins. Now these things just like flip you around yeah. and they're I mean they're very visually appealing and there's not many of these like there's the one at Fantasia Land that a lot of people know and they just have all this like fire shooting out I mean they're just very insane looking rides and uh, Kings Island used to have one uh, but they don't anymore but I've never ridden one you haven't ridden one I don't know they used to have one went. at Geauga Lake I'm pretty sure they had one at Geauga Lake a while back um which has since been closed down uh but nope, never been on one because anytime that you look at these, they just don't look that fun to me. Yeah, I don't know if they'd be fun or what. It, they're definitely scary. Now coming in at number nine, we are going with, we're going with the old name. We're going with I-305 Intimidator 305, which will soon have a new name, but whatever. But this thing, I mean, not necessarily scary to us because we've ridden it a few times. We're fine with roller coasters like that. But to a lot of the general public, this thing is intimidating, for yeah, lack of better words. Exactly. I mean, this is considered one of, if not the most intense roller coaster in the world. And not to mention, it's a giga coaster, 300 and what, five feet five tall? Feet, yeah, it's, it's absolutely huge, like just walking up to it. And there's only like a few supports holding it up. Like it has a really cool look to it and it makes it look a lot bigger. So it's just very, very intimidating, like you said. Now coming in at number eight. We have Ijanaika slash Dinaconda. Now these are S and S 4D coasters. And the only one that we've ridden similar to this is the Aero version X2 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. And they are just scary rides because you are flipping around every which way. Yeah, I mean, I really liked X2. And like you said, that's an Aero and it's a little bit older. Uh, Ijanaika and Dinaconda are a lot newer and supposed to be just so much better than X2. But your, spe uh, your seats spin around as you go around the course. And one thing that Ejanaika and Dinaconda have is they have a zero G roll during it. That's Everyone talks about how great that element is while your seats are flipping around, which X2 doesn't have. So yeah, these are just very intimidating and scary rides. Now coming in at number seven, we're going to Hershey Park Sky Rush. Now this thing, I don't know, I heard with the new restraints, we haven't ridden it with the new restraints, we heard that it's almost more of a tame experience, but the thing is that the old Sky Rush with the old restraints, you are basically ragdolled around this thing. It is one of the few rides that I've ridden that I've actually had to like hold on. Yeah, you hold on because it's, it's scary. Uh, the restraints come on like your thighs, they don't come on your hip, so you're very, at least it used to, uh, so you're just very, very open, and the first drop on Skyrush is probably the most insane first drop that we've ever experienced on a coaster. And there's only two of those Intamin wing-style coasters. The only other one being at Ferrari World in the UAE, Flying Aces. Uh, we have not ridden that one, but Skyrush is definitely one of, if not the most intense coaster, along with Intamin 305 that we've ridden. Now for number six, we're going over to Taiwan where the only type of this coaster exists at the moment. It is Gravity Max. This is a Vacoma tilt coaster. And a lot of people are hearing a lot about Vacoma tilt coasters nowadays because Cedar Point just announced that they are getting a Vacoma tilt coaster coming next season. Yeah, and also there's one going, uh, there's Circuit Breaker coming going down into Texas. At Coda Land. Mm -hmm. But these things just, like I mean, I'm honestly like, oh my God, this thing's gonna be scary. I mean, I don't, I, I can't, I can't help it. You pull yeah. out onto a track and you just hover over what is like some, it looks like just basically broken off track. And then you start tilting 90 degrees down until it connects to the other track. And then you go through the course. But that is very scary to me. I mean, it's yeah. not just like a regular dive coaster where you're just on a track and then you kind of stop hang there for a minute and then drop this thing the track actually disconnects and 
moves in a 90 degree motion. Yeah. So I can definitely see where I will be scared, especially someone being mm-hmm. afraid of heights like myself. But I could see a lot of just the general public being very af- afraid yeah, of a I mean, ride like this. Yeah, you're just seeing the track just tilt, and that's just very, very crazy. Now we're getting into the top five. Before we get into this, we'd like to say thank you for coming and checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you enjoy roller coaster and amusement park content just like this. And a special shout out to all our channel members, all these people. They join one of two tiers and they get things like exclusive videos, shout outs, pictures, and they help out the channel a ton. So thank you to all our channel members and thank you to everyone that subscribes and supports this channel. You guys are indeed the best. But now, like I said, we're into the top five and this is going to give a big spoiler on a ride that they kind of thrive on you not knowing mm-hmm. about this part of the like yeah. there's the scary part of this ride most people don't know about because it's enclosed so if you don't want a spoiler for Karnan, then please fast forward and jump ahead so Karnan is a very unique coaster it's this gigantic gerslauer infinity coaster that's like 230 feet tall so just like all the other gerslauers it has a vertical lift hill um, but this one, like I said, being 230, 250 feet tall, so really tall. So what it does is it's completely enclosed. They built this giant kind of replica of an actual castle that's in Europe. And so you're going up completely enclosed. And once you get to like the very top, you'll stop and then there'll be like this music and you'll see, I think stuff projecting on the walls, like you'll see all this stuff happening and then you're going to drop backwards all the way down the hill. Do you, so you go down like almost all the way you down? You go down, whatever. yeah, you go down like the whole entire way and it catches you at the bottom. So it's like, I know it's not technically a free fall. You can feel that it's controlled, but it's definitely something that no other coaster in the world has. So if you don't know about this going into it, then you're just going to assume that you've gone up to the top of the lift hill and then got stuck and then got stuck and then uh, and then just slipped and went down yeah so. i mean it's it, it's really scary and that's not even the only like scary part of this ride it's supposed to be one of the most intense coasters in the world like you gray out almost every time and it's definitely very high on my bucket list because i really want to experience that now coming in at number four we are going with a specific ride model these are fun time boosters now, the only one that we've really seen I, I, that I can think of in person is at Six Flags St. Louis. But these things are just basically like a long, thin stick. Yeah. And you're stuck on the one side of it, and they just spin you around. They're very tall, or at least this one was very tall. And I just looked at it. I'm like, no. I'm like, no way. Like, I, I'm, we're watching the people on this thing. And I'm just like, there's 0% chance that I will ever ride this thing. Now in at number three, we have the rides that are on top of Stratosphere in Las Vegas. Now the thing that makes these rides crazy and scary is the fact that you are over 1,100 feet in the air on top of this building. And then they have a shot tower. Yeah, they have a shot tower. They have this uh, kind of seesaw ride that's essentially a kiddie coaster. They have that ride at other parks but this one is on top of the stratosphere so it basically just tilts forward and you slide down the track off the edge and then stop and then go backwards yeah it looks it looks like you're going off an 1100 foot tower yeah, and you've seen it in person you've been up, i've been on, on top of stratosphere before and i've looked through the window and seen it come down and i was like nope nope and they used to have a ride called insanity that uh, spun you over the edge but that ride doesn't uh doesn't exist anymore it's not open anymore yeah and they so, used to have a coaster up there too I yeah think, they used to have high roller i think the only two rides they have up there now are big shot and yeah. extreme i'm not a hundred percent sure but i'm 99 uh, yeah, percent yeah. sure and the, yeah like you said they used to have high roller which is a coaster that just went around in a circle uh but that ride closed quite a few years ago and so did insanity now we're getting into the top two in at number two, a ride that we saw down at Bush Gardens, Tampa. It was closed, but I wasn't going to ride it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It is a huge drop tower called Falcon's Fury. Now, drop towers to me are scary as it is, my fear of heights. 
But the thing that is extra special scary about this one is it... It, uh, so basically... When you get to the top, and it's like, I think, 330 feet tall. It's, so it's very like, tall. Yeah. It's taller than Fury. So it's one of the tallest drop towers in the world, if not the tallest. Um, but so you get to the top, and instead of just dropping right away, you tilt forward, and you basically get into like a flying coaster position, and you're looking straight down, yeah. 330 feet, and then you drop down. Yeah, so you're basically like this, just coming straight down. I almost tipped out of the chair right there. But you start just come straight down to the ground. And you don't know if you're going to stop. You might just splat right in the I ground. Mean, probably. That, that's happened a ton. Yeah. So you don't know what's going to happen. So it's definitely a very scary ride. That is one of the reasons that you will never see this guy riding Falcon's Fury. And now for number one, last but not least, these are pretty much every single fair ride in the world. No, yeah, I'm not riding any of these things. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we go to a ton of amusement parks. We obviously coaster enthusiasts. We ride flat rides, any coaster. Uh, but one thing that we really don't do is ride co- rides at fairs because they are not very, they're not nearly as safe as rides that are at an amusement park. Every time that you hear about some sort of accident, like the tragic accident where someone lost their life, at the Ohio State Fair, uh, what, 2018 or 19 yeah. or something like that. Every time that you hear about something like this, where it's actually the ride, because you hear about accidents at amusement parks, but typically it is like um, a person's fault or yeah. or the ride operator did something specific. But at fairs, it's just the ride itself. <laughs> yeah, These things just fall apart. People flying off everywhere. Well, they're portable. Can't trust these They're things. portable. So they're built, they're made to tear down and rebuild. And they're just very not well put together. And, I mean, I've we've walked through fairs yeah. and seen stuff. And it's like, I don't, I don't think that would run at pretty much any amusement <laughs> park that we've been to. Yeah, and some people argue that fair rides are somehow safer because they have to be inspected every time that they're put up or something like that. I don't that. think so. I would ride not, one of the, I would ride it. one of the little kitty coasters for the credit, because uh, if you fall off, it's like five feet. Yeah. But other than that, I'm not riding anything at any fair. Yeah. So stay away from all sorts of fairs, people, <laughs> if you want to stay safe. Exactly. So that is it for this video. Thank you for watching top ten scariest rides. I hope you guys all have a super happy, healthy, safe, spooky. Halloween, and we'll see you guys next time right here on Beach Cliff Studios. See ya.